time to just chill, you know, just chill. Like, oh my God, no, my family base. <gasps> Guys, we have failed the first assignment. Book some time in your calendar because you've got a meeting with nail polish. The introduction of the work-life balance bundle. Work-life balance. Okay, we gotta paint nails. Stop distracting me. I think I wanna do a little bar chart. Exactly this. Thank you, amateur nail art. <laughs> this is what I was thinking of painting on my nails using the new colors. In order to use the four new colors, what if we make it like a double axis chart so I can have the bars and then a line graph? like a line going through it. Uh, I don't know what it represents, but I'm sure we can come up with some kind of a hypothesis to explain the numbers. This is what I'm thinking. <laughs> I've already painted my nails with two coats of Not Milky White. I did add a glossy taco because I did this a while back just to simplify things so I don't mess it up. I'm going to use some straight nail vinyls to get a straight edge. Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> the meeting be like, all my coworkers trying to figure out one task. We need to separate, divide, and conquer. Mm, mm, that's kind of thick. Give me one second. <laughs> you could also just use striping tape. Uh, striping tape is like that wheel of tape. So I'm basically just making an outline for a straight line where I'm gonna make the, the bar graph. You know, I'm gonna put one line there and one line there in a different color. It is most challenging on my pinky because my pinky is like so tiny. <laughs> um, I don't need to worry about going all the way up because uh, unless we're at 100% here, the chart, the bar is not going up to the top. Let's take here for the payday and work bestie. Okay, I wanna try and just do it straight up with the brush. Fucked it up. <laughs> Don't worry, we will find a way to fix it. Oh my god, not my family base. <gasps> Guys, we have failed the first assignment. <laughs> okay, I'm taking some acetone, wiping up some purple. I'm gonna fill that in with white. Just gonna pat it back down and pretend it didn't lift. Who's a nail artist? You're you're a nail artist. My work bestie tattletailed on me. She called me out and now I have to cover up for my work bestie. <laughs> so once I put a top coat on, like you won't even be able to tell. It'll look fine, you know. Work bestie, she's fine. She did nothing wrong. I was gonna do the same thing across all the nails and then like connect them with lines, but now I'm scared. Um, if you're a beginner with nail art, do not use Peely Base but I like to live on the edge. The wildest risk taker, you know that's me. I'm just gonna not put it down securely. We must be very careful. Yeah, let's introduce board meeting. I'll introduce you at the board meeting. <laughs> Do you see how like good this coverage is though? <laughs> for nail art in one coat. Quick but careful, quick but careful. Everyone pray for me. Do not lift, do not lift. Not lift. Yes, we did not lift. We did not have lift off. Our performance is improving. Good job, everyone. You guys are doing great. You know, maybe one day we'll we'll paint some heat map nails or a scatter plot. Oh, I would love to paint a scatter plot. 1.5% of you are interested in this, but a scatter plot is my favorite kind of graph. I love taking two axes and then like plotting multiple points, whether it's like people or the intersection of two things in like a matrix. Basically a matrix with quadrants, but a scatter plot positioning. Favorite type of graph, love it. <laughs> I wanna see the correlations, baby. Show me the correlations in your matrix. This is when half the people leave. <laughs> They're like, shut up, Christine. <laughs> Venn diagrams, Venn diagrams are too like, nominal for me. I want numbers. I want data points. It's a band diagram. I am a scatter plot of emotions. You know why I like scatter plots? Because scattered hollow taco, duh. For any launch between like 70 and 90% of orders are people buying the entire collection. So what that means is that I have a less significant amount of data, like my N number is just much smaller when it comes to the individual SKUs. In conclusion, people, we're gonna need more time to get more data. The data, the data, the da da data? Data. Data? How do you guys say data? To be careful on this nail, cause this nail's like more curved. 
It's because this finger gets so skinny. So this bar gets a little skinnier. What's that brush? I don't know. What's that brush? Na 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 na. She's that brush. Na 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 Who's that brush? Okay, we're gonna do the next thing, the second axis data plot. So right now we have the bars that represent one type of data point, but sometimes you want to see them compared to another data point. So you can add a trend line. Every chart has like X and Y axis like this, but sometimes you also have this. <laughs> so this axis has a different variable than this axis. Okay, so we're gonna take left on red and I'm gonna put it on my yogurt lid. Bloop. Okay, so I'm gonna take a skinny little striping brush. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a striping brush can. Ooh, that's nice. You like to, I like to get the brush soaked in it first. And this is kind of the tricky part. Sorry for the focus. We're gonna connect them, we're connecting it. The trend line keeps going, guys. Have you guys seen graphs like this before? Surely you have, right? Come on, come on. Someone has looked at some like, I don't know, consumer price index, something. This is inflation. These are costs of different regions and housing markets with the inflation rate modeled on the other axis. Ooh! I occasionally like to clean my brushes with acetone as I'm working because over time the polish does kind of start to dry in the bristles, so I like to get rid of it. With a striping brush, I like to, you know, have the thinnest possible lines and then make them a little bit thicker if I want. I think we're good. We've got this like simple kind of confusing line graph and when I put my nails together, <laughs> they connect. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see the nerd in me? Exactly 3% of people in this chat think this is cool. Part of the 3%, yeah. Shout out to my data nerds. Mm. You were worried about if they would connect? Oh, you know they were gonna connect. Strategic advantage, people. Always plan, plot, strategy. Think about your next steps. You always gotta be ahead. I deliberately kind of thought of like where this ended and where the next one began. Why don't you guys tell me in the chat what this graph represents to you? HT sales my mental health. <laughs> How? I don't understand. <laughs> Controlled chaos, profits and stuff. My motivation. Which one? Is the red line your motivation and then the colors are like different life events? It's so like one of them's food, one of them's water, one of them's like work. <laughs> Stonks. <laughs> this could be like cryptocurrency. NFTs, the sale of NFTs modeled with crypto, modeled with YouTuber narcissism. I'm getting in trouble. Snacks consumed, everything and nothing. Views on different platforms. Yo, I like that. So like the purple's TikTok, the blue is Facebook, the green is Snapchat, the red line is like revenue or like views maybe. I don't know. All right, you guys have some great ideas. Yeah, we love it. Okay, I'm gonna glossy taco it up. Glossy taco. You'll notice I'm being very careful to float it so I don't smudge it. I understand that is a tricky exercise. I am actually looking into a smudge-free taco for nail art purposes and have had great success. Uh-oh, what did I say? Undo, stop it. <laughs> there is nothing imminently occurring in the language you are speaking in, in the chat currently. Moving on. But see how once you put a glossy taco on, like you don't really see if it was a little bit lumpy in the colors. Wow. Right, let me gather up the gang, the crew. All right, all those in attendance, we would like to thank you for attending this meeting. And uh, I just have one question for you. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, chat? Can I get a performance review? A performance evaluation of my delivery? It would be much appreciated. 10 out of 10. Even our bot says, what do you think? A great presentation full of information. Picasso, worthy of a raise that exceeds inflation, absolutely. And that is something that I believe all of you who attend this meeting deserve, a raise that exceeds inflation. You get a promotion. You get a promotion. We all get a promotion. 
So you can actually like clip this channel and hypothetically send it to your boss. I don't know if they will respond positively. Be right back, sending a risky email. <laughs> Simply fired logical that that could be you. So I, I would be careful, measure your risks, your outcomes. Don't do anything too stupid. Round of applause for the entirety of chat for staying through this meeting the entire time. We much appreciate your time. Wet nails, so Nicole Kidman claps. Most productive meeting you've ever had. Exactly, you're all getting overtime. Hope you excel at work, but I also hope that you find some balance in painting your nails and you know doing whatever it is that brings you a little bit of joy amidst all the bullshit. <laughs> Thanks guys for hanging out with me. Bye.